Wolfpack TV, the last regular season edition of Wolfpack TV in 2009. Dan Pfeiffer seeing my breath a little bit out here on a cool night at the Milwaukee County Sports Complex. And the Wolfpack got a cool victory over the Louisville Bulls tonight, 18-14. Cool why? Cool because it came in the last couple minutes of the game, a 25-yard touchdown pass by Dan Roberts. That was what won it for the Wolfpack. It made it 18-12, a late safety as the Wolfpack tried to run out the clock was what made it 18-14. Hey, speaking of Dan Roberts, let's talk to him now about that big touchdown pass as well as tonight's victory. Dan Pfeiffer here with Dan Roberts, one of the many quarterbacks for the Wisconsin Wolfpack tonight in an 18-14 victory over the Louisville Bulls, one of the more vaunted teams in the MCFL. They come up here to Milwaukee, and you guys get a victory in the last regular season game of the year for the Wisconsin Wolfpack in a dramatic one. It was a touchdown pass, 25 yards with about 2 minutes and 33 seconds left that won the game for you guys. Walk us through that play, firing the bomb to the left side and finding your man. Coach Cooper called a slant on the outside with a bear down a wheel route, uh, ran a perfect route and just threw it up to him and couldn't have been better. Absolutely a perfect pass. And now it, it, what Coach Kopech did tonight, and he likes to do this, he used a rotation of quarterbacks this evening. But at the end of the game, he went to you, and it seemed like you had the best night of the three. Did it take you a while to get into a rhythm? You had a fumble, but at the same time, you kept your poise and you bounced back. Is it tough when there are three quarterbacks and you're rotating like that? No, because when we're on the sideline, we're conversing. We're uh, telling each other what the defense is doing, so we we have an idea when we go out there. Um, the offensive line did a great job uh, adjusting, and you know we made it a game. Rochester Community Technical College is where you've played some of your college ball. Now you come back here and play at this level, playing with some of the guys that have played D1. Uh, a, a number of players from around the region coming together and playing for this squad. How did you find out about the Wolfpack and what brought you here tonight? Um, Blue Devils coach contacted me and just wanted me to come try out for these guys. And, you know, I'm just thank God for the offer. With the victory over the Louisville Bulls, 18-14, thank you for joining us on Wolfpack TV. Thank you very much, Dan. Back again on Wolfpack TV with the head coach of the Wisconsin Wolfpack, Jordan Kopak, an 18-14 victory for your club tonight over the Louisville Bulls, one of the better known teams in the Mid-Continental Football League. So it's a signature victory for you guys and still a chance that you might get into the playoffs, so maybe a little bit of momentum going forward. But let's talk about this game first. A tough-fought game. Much of it was played in a tie. It was 12-12 when he scored the game-winning touchdown, a 25-yard touchdown pass by Dan Roberts. We just got done talking to him. What did you see that made that play work? Well, uh, we had four receivers on the line, and by doing that, uh, we were able to pick on their weakest defender. They weren't able to hide them. If you got three receivers and they got four defenders, they can hide one of them, and, and that's how that worked out. We asked Dan about the three quarterback rotation and how he felt about that and if it uh, affected his rhythm. What, what was your idea behind using the three different quarterbacks tonight? I know, and, and we talk about this all the time on Wolfpack TV, how much you like to have depth. But was there ever a question that you might have a guy get out of rhythm? And then when Dan started to succeed in the second half, did you decide to just go with him? Yeah, well, we, when we started the game off, we decided that we were going to run the quarterbacks each two series. And uh, we felt that uh, they're here. All three of them can throw. They're nice quarterbacks. And we didn't feel it would be fair to have one quarterback play the whole game and the other two just watch. So we made the commitment that we were going to switch every two series. Then when we had 58 seconds there, uh, we thought, well, are we going to put the third quarterback in or not? And, and we said, well, by golly, we, we made that commitment. So we did. So uh, after we went through the two series each, then we stuck with with the quarterback that finished up. The playoffs in the MCFL are, are very inclusive, if you will. Your team finishing below 500 here in the regular season, but still with the chance to make it in. We talk about momentum a lot on Wolfpack TV here too. Do you think that a win like this gives your team momentum going into the playoffs if they can make it? And we won't know again until later on, until well after this is being recorded as to whether or not you're making it. And then on the flip side, if you don't make it, does a win like this give you confidence going into next year? Well, I, I think a win like this uh, reinforces a couple of things. One, it reinforces our ability to put a system in, in in a very short time because a lot of these players were not available to us until uh, a couple of weeks ago. It does that. The other thing, what it does is that uh, it allows us to work on it and to practice it. So we're way, way ahead ready for a playoff game after tonight than we were, say, last week. As far as next year is concerned, uh, I think uh, we wanted to get through this year because next year 
we'll have access to a lot more ball players and and uh, the timing and the scheduling will be a lot different and we won't have to do what we did this year it was an interesting season jordan obviously a lot of guys cycling in and out and i know at times it was stressful for you but if it does end tonight and certainly we're hoping that it doesn't but if it does it ends on a victory 18 14 the final score you scratch out a victory over the lowy bull bulls here at the milwaukee county sports complex jordan thank you for joining us all year long on wolfpack tv yep. thank you i appreciate it and Hopefully we'll have another interview before uh, New Year's. Hopefully. 18-14 again, your final score. Once again, we also are not sure just yet if the Wisconsin Wolfpack have made the MCFL playoffs or not just yet. We'll find out more when we get the results of other games later on. But until then, you just need to know that Wolfpack TV will be back whenever the Wolfpack are playing. Keep on checking out WIWolfpack.com for more information. For Wolfpack TV and WIWolfpack.com, I'm Dan Pfeiffer.